In case you didn't know, recently GTA 5 was banned from Target and Kmart stores in Australia after a petition and I'm going to tell you some reasons why I think GTA 5 should be banned personally and I'll try and keep a, a fair and balanced argument throughout the video, so thank you. Now, the first reason is in GTA 5, players can actually buy soda, specifically uh, cola. Now, everyone knows that fizzy drinks are really, really bad for your health, you know, can make you fat if you drink too much, you know, really, really bad for your teeth. You know, I think, I think this could influence kids to start drinking uh, more fizzy drinks, and it could really be a detriment to their health. It also teaches them to litter, too, which is just horrible. And those explosions are exactly relevant to the littering and drinking of fizzy drinks. Another reason GTA 5 should be banned is players can modify their vehicles in the game. And here we have, you know, a classy, you know, just general car, which is just nice as it's bought straight out the um, the car shop thingy. But uh, as you can see, players can modify the car. You can put like armor on it. I mean, who who in the right mind needs armor on the cars unless unless you're James Bond, you do not need armor on your car. You do not need a souped up engine. And never mind the ridiculous horns you can put in your cars. Just listen to these. Shocking, absolutely shocking. You know, I'm trying not to swear here, but fuck's sake, neon lights on the bottom of your vehicle. You don't need that. You don't need that. And I'll tell you who this is exactly influencing. Just look at that fucking car. Do you know who this is influencing? Boy racers. This is gonna influence more GTA 5 players to start picking up boy racing in real life. I can just imagine, you know, 10, 12 year olds being bought this game by their parents, you know, thinking, I could really do with getting into the illegal street racing scene. You know, that's the first thought that comes into my mind. Never mind, you know, recklessly driving around uh, petrol stations, knocking over fire hydrants, you know, crashing into cars. You know, I almost think the worst thing about it is the ridiculous horns, you know, these could influence young kids in their cars to uh, buy ridiculous horns and, you know, you end up blasting them and you end up driving on this the pavement, killing three innocent civilians needlessly and flipping your car over, although it probably looks better flipped over because it's fucking stupid enough anyway. GTA 5 should also be banned because players can buy ridiculous clothes in-game, clothes that really do not match and make you just look like a fucking idiot and you would never be respected by wearing such clothes that look I've got like a, a bluish green hat, a green shirt, uh, bright blue uh, chinos I think they are and some brogues. Now, who in the right mind is going to wear them? Oh yeah and some bright yellow sunglasses just to top the whole shit parade off. You know, look at Just look yourself in the eye and think what am I letting my kids play? You know this is letting kids you know be influenced to wear shit clothes I mean, most of them do wear shit clothes already, but you know what I mean, it's only going to get worse. Although maybe to be fair we should look at a reason why GTA shouldn't be banned. In Grand Theft Auto 5, players can actually go and take a shower, which, you know, could really influence kids to start, you know, taking care of their personal hygiene, you know, when it gets to uh, bath and bedtime on a Sunday night before school, maybe kids would be more influenced to go for their shower and baths after T taking their character for a show, I don't know, maybe it's something to think about just to keep things fair and balanced. I'm gonna make you gorgeous. Let's do this. Another reason why GTA 5 should be banned is, well, I don't, don't really know how to explain this. You can go, you can go into a hairdresser's, a barber's and, you know, usually in any barber's I've been in, they actually cut hair. They don't grow hair in a matter of seconds, which is totally unrealistic and could influence kids that, you know, you could grow hair and barbers, which is which is really awful. And I'm not really sure where I'm going with this argument, but I think you can understand what I'm saying is that it's really ridiculous. Maybe it could influence kids yeah, to, uh, to pick up a uh, hairdressing. Moving on, this is just a, some shocking, I mean, you might want to cover your eyes here because this is just horrible. If this is your first time seeing a Grand Theft Auto game, you know, you're wondering what your kids are playing. Like, look at the state of this. If you want to borrow my stem, just say. Look at the state of this house and look at the state of this character's room here. It's a mess. There's pizza lying everywhere. There's a thong there, beer, cockroaches everywhere. Uh, I think that man's just collapsed due to the, the stench in this building, you know, it could really influence kids to keep messy rooms and not tidy up after themselves, it's horrific scenes. And finally, onto the worst reason of all why GTA 5 should be banned, 
players can play golf in GTA 5. No one fucking likes golf. And even when you do finally hit a good shot at golf in the game, you start thinking you're fucking Tiger Woods. Well, Tiger Woods isn't a good deal, let's be honest. And then, you know, you, you get a little birdie, you start thinking you're good. And then you'll end up doing shit like this, which, you know, that's just horrible. Kids shouldn't what? be exposed to this. At such a young, when their minds are so like, their like, minds are like sponges, and if they're soaking up this golf shite, then what chance have they got? You know, then that leads you on to, you know, going on a mindless rampage because you got a double bogey. You know, next thing you know, you're, you're driving through flames from the helicopters you've just shot down, and it's, it's just not fair on kids to let them exposed to this. So please, parents, think twice before buying the kids GTA 5, and I'm glad it's been banned in one country. Let's see if we can get it banned. Uh, all around the world so if you've enjoyed this video parents please uh, like fave subscribe and yes uh, keep your children safe